London, birthday homage as Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother and Princess Margaret take two excited royal children to watch the Trooping the Colour on Horse Guards Parade. Threatening skies were forgotten as loyal cheers greet Her Majesty the Queen riding out on Winston, the famous police horse, to receive the homage of the Brigade of Guards on this, her official birthday. The Queen wears a scarlet tunic as Colonel-in-Chief of the Coldstream Guards with the regiment's distinctive plume topping her tricorn hat. On the parade ground, the inspection begins. Behind Her Majesty ride the Duke of Edinburgh and the Duke of Gloucester. This was a real birthday parade for the Queen's husband too, for Prince Philip was celebrating his 33rd anniversary. He was wearing, for the first time, the full-dress uniform of a Colonel of the Welsh Guards. At a window overlooking the parade, Prince Charles and Princess Anne eagerly watch all that happens. And now, the massed bands of the Brigade of Guards begin their incomparable slow march and counter march. Then the tempo quickens. This year, the colour to be trooped is that of the 1st Battalion, Coldstream Guards. The climax of the parade, as the colour ensign, 2nd Lieutenant Edgerton Warburton, receives the standard. And the colour is trooped along the ranks of guardsmen, a reminder of the days when the standard was proudly carried into battle. Now, in support of their colour, the 1st Battalion Coldstream Guards lead the march past as they salute their Colonel-in-Chief. As so many Guards battalions are at present serving overseas, only five Guards, instead of the usual eight, were on parade. to the glittering finale, the Sovereign's escort of the Household Cavalry passes in review. So, at the head of her foot guards, the Queen returns to Buckingham Palace amid the cheers of thousands who had gathered there.
queen enters the palace to join her family. And only then, as the crowd swept through the police cordon to pay further tribute to Her Majesty, did a heavy shower mar the occasion. <laughs> to round off this day of homage, jet aircraft of the Royal Auxiliary Air Force roar overhead, Britain's volunteer airmen making their first fly past over the palace. A modern tribute joining a century-old tradition in a royal birthday celebration. <laughs>